the brown boys the brown boys the brown boys we the brown boys the brown boys we the brown boys yo 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 what's up man 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 a lot of smoke in the hip-hop industry wow with all this money people are still crashing out oh man they say Nicki minaj husband big zoo uh threatened offset allegedly well well i guess allegedly he threatened offset and he was sentenced to 100 days house arrest or something like that for threatening offset <laughs> and then DJ Vlad chimed in, chimed in. DJ Vlad chimed in on the situation. And matter of fact, if you do not know what I'm talking about, let me let you hear what Nicki Minaj's husband said, and then we'll let you hear what DJ Vlad said, and then I'll come back with some commentary. Hoodie on, huh? So I, they don't know where I'm from. They know where I'm from. No, no, I can't no, act like no, I'm no, Big Queens, no. nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Sturdy, nigga. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Yeah. Money, man. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? You don't know niggas. You don't know niggas. Yeah. Big Zoo. Yeah. 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 We'll meet you on your vacation, nigga. That's a fact. They got big zoo outside. Oh, they, they wanted to come at me at the VMAs, man. I ain't oh, even, way, we ain't man. even do nothing to nobody, oh, man. Way, man, what's poppin', man? What's poppin', oh, man? Nobody hiding around here, man. Yeah, outside. outside. Yeah. We ready, nigga. All the way up yeah. the way. We ain't ducking yeah. out, nigga. That he was threatening Offset on video, telling him if you plan that vacation, you're planning your funeral, also telling him to come outside. Now, DJ Vlad's response came off very personal. If you guys missed it, Vlad said, So Nicki Minaj's sex offender husband was sentenced to 120 days of house arrest for threatening Offset. That means he would have to sit at home with their son and not work while Nicki makes all the money. Sounds like what he's always been doing. Well, Vlad just doubled down and crashed out on Nicki Minaj. Vlad tweeted saying, Nicki Minaj's husband is on house arrest for threatening Offset. Right after that, she previewed a song on IG saying she got killers who will pull up and do what she say. This was the same Nicki who threatened to send her husband to Academic's house for his comments about her. This is the same Nicki who told Meek Mill to have his beat up Quentin Miller, which then happened. Have you ever heard a woman scream, my man will fuck you up over something she started herself? That's Nikki. If you want to see how these stories end, check out my interview with Travis Rudolph. After an argument with his girl, she sent her brother and three other guys to shoot up his house. One of them ended up dead. Another one got shot. Travis was charged with murder, which he luckily beat in trial due to self-defense. To all the men out there, I don't care how fat her ass is or how good the sex is. Avoid women like Nikki who use men as crash dummies like the plague. I said what I said. Now So yes, there you have it. You heard what you heard. So instead of you know, enjoying the yacht life instead of enjoying the, you know, the good music, the spoils of your labor, um, or as DJ Vlad put it, the spoils of his wife labor, but I don't know the brother, so I'm pretty sure he does something, you know, work or does something. But, you know, but instead of just enjoying all of the things that you have, your beautiful wife and everything else, he sends out a threat online and gets himself on house arrest. It's crazy. So now uh, we're going to get an opportunity to see, does he keep that same energy? And listen, for the first time, I have to say, shout out to DJ Vlad. I do agree that we're, this is going to show uh, if this man has pics and if it's just we only talk like this to each other. They do business with white men. They talk it out with white men. Have a disagreement with black men, a black man, go get a group of other black men and make it a threat on his life every single time. So DJ Vlad, I got to say, shout out to DJ Vlad because he going to put pressure on this situation. Now that he said what he said, there's 5 million people. He has 5 million subscribers and his reach is longer than that. So now that... This one white man has said something to, you know, this brother that's, uh, you know, seemed to be kind of gangster. Let's see if he get gangster with Vlad. Because I believe there's a difference between how we treat our white counterparts and how we treat each other. Every single time we deal with each other, it's, a, it's in a final type of talk, a final type of situation. 
You know, we never try to give compassion to our brother. We never try to even fight them. And, and you know what I mean? You live to fight another day. We go to the extreme with one another. Um, but I think DJ Vlad is going to expose something. DJ Vlad sounded personal. That nigga said he sit in the house and do. He basically saying this dude is a scrub. And he basically calling out Nicki Minaj, saying how horrible she is for our community because she stands behind her man and basically uses him as a battering ram against other black people. Almost saying that she's only with him because he's that way. Now, this is not my words. This is DJ Vlad's words. 